All right, guys, today we are going to be diagnosing 17 Z15 boards. So I'm going to go through the process of how I test them real quick. It makes it super simple, saves a lot of time. All right, so what I got is my benchtop power supply, um, my multimeter, and the thermal camera. So what I'm going to be doing is setting my power supply to 1 volt. That way, if there is a short, it doesn't send more voltage into the chips because you don't want that. So I have it set up one volt and what I can do is I turn it on, plug it in real quick. Oh, yeah, see, immediately jumps up to 10 amps. Let me turn it down a little. I'm gonna get my thermal camera out here. There is a short. Now, which one is it? I don't know if you can see this or not, but when I turn the amperage up, you can see that, yep, see right there, that's the one. Right there. All right. Go ahead and turn it off. Put a mark on it and we're off to the next port. All right, same thing. Power supply on, plug it in. Oh yeah, immediately 10 amps. Let me get my thermal camera out here again. All right. Yep. See that faint glow right there. Go ahead and mark that one. Just confirm. Make sure that's the only one getting hot. Yep, that's the one. Plug that. All right. That board's done. Diagnosed it, anyways. That's the easy part. All right. And again, let me plug it in. This one's only drawing an amp. different. Usually it'll draw a lot more amperage. If I turn the voltage up just a little bit, amperage jumps up. Things take a, quite a lot to heat up sometimes. All right, there it is. Right there.
All right, let me go ahead and mark this one. Let's just confirm. Yes, that one. All right, cool. Well, so far, these have been easy, easy shorts. Uh, well, we know what's wrong with this one. Uh, is it fixable? It's hard to say. So I'm going to put this one aside and I'll stack that in a different pile. Ugh, another one. Completely burnt. All right, this one looks good. Let's go ahead and plug the power into it. Oh, let's turn the voltage back down. All right, we have another short. So let's find it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the power up just a little bit. It's hard to see. Sometimes. Looks like. If you guys can see that, let me turn it. Anyways, you just have to believe me. So you can see which um, chip is getting warm there. You can tell the difference on the heat sinks. I don't know, it might be multiple chips getting short on this one. Let me guess this one here. Okay. We'll have to confirm that later on. This one looks pretty good. No burns. 
Okay. Plug it in. Hmm. Okay. This one here. Let me make sure there's not another one. All right. So, uh, that's four five that has a bad MOSFET all right Let's go ahead and turn this back on oh my goodness another one all right time to find the culprit to jump just a skosh. There we go. You can find it faster. That's looking like there's a little heat spot there. Right. Right here. there's not any more getting hot all right that's the only one I see okay that is number six Okay, another clean one, not all burned up. And it's just the same thing over and over again. Plug it in. And okay, come on. Just another MOSFET. And I see it already right here. Third one down. All right. Good on that one. All right, that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shores boards. Uh, another burned up one. Uh, set that one aside. This one looks pretty clean. All right, let me go ahead and plug the power in. Hey, come on. Not another one. All right, well, let's find the culprit. right there right there all 
it's really faint on the thermal camera. You really have to know your thermal camera pretty well. See all these reflections off all the metal. Cord on the uh, power supply is pretty hot though. All right, and that makes eight. All right, going for nine. Looks clean, no fire. Okay, let's see, ah, another one. All right. And found it already. This one right here. Well, I wish this was more exciting, but it is what it is. Okay. So, that one is toast. Completely burnt. That will be for parts. This one looks like it's a goner. This one's for sure for parts. There's no way the layers are all melted on that one. That is, that must have been a fire right there. Oh, another one. Man, that's that's nasty. That's nasty, man. Oh, yeah. All right, so this is the last one. This is number 17 here. Whew. So I've got at least five parts for us. And I've got nine uh, boards that I can fix easily. Just have to replace those MOSFETs, usually. Then I have three maybes where uh, there was a catastrophic, catastrophic failure on one of the MOSFETs, but yeah, it depends if there's anything left underneath, if it can be saved. So those are the more difficult ones. They're a little harder to fix. They take a lot more time. So I'm going to focus on these um, boards that aren't all burned up. So next time I will be going over replacing MOSFETs. Really, that's all I have left here. So. Now, I was really hoping that there'd be other issues on these boards besides just a blown MOSFET, but uh, it seems like just the problem on these set of boards. So uh, that's all we're going to do for now. Um, on the last batch, I had a bunch of controllers that were bad, and I spent a bunch of time to fix those. But then all this whole batch is just bad MOSFETs, so... Who knows if the controllers are good still, though, on these, so we'll do more testing later, but that's the initial uh, step of testing these is just put them on a bench power supply, um, one volt or so, and just see what gets hot. And that's If it has a short, you'll pull a draw amperage, and then you see what gets hot, and then uh, go from there. Now, there shouldn't be... Uh, any amp draw on these at all when you plug it into the six pin. Um, it should just be power the board. These controllers are the these controllers uh, turn these on and off, so there shouldn't be any power going in. So um, I guess we'll do a, a controller uh, video later. So um, thanks for watching. See you next time.